Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Stellaris as the Systems Alliance go off with the divine, divine Dodo mm -hmm. Dominion. The most divine Dodo <laughs> The most, most divine ruler of the divine, most divine ruler of Dodo Do. What? <laughs> Never mind. You didn't hear that. I'm high on high energy drink. Juta. Now, I'm never going to let go that this is not a bear. Yeah, he was a gun so, Some sort of fox or something. Meow. <laughs> yeah. Fox goes meow. <laughs> Which, you know, I, if, if this were 2011, <laughs> I would almost be tempted to say, what does the fox say, but... Sorry. This guy wants to um, become the next president, high priest, whatever. It's Boki, yes. a five-star general. Boozy commander, God told me to do it again. And he is a slaver. I'm like, what? <laughs> dear, oh dear. God told me to do it. He's a slaver. It's perfect. Like, we got this. And slave them all. Uh, I don't know if I want Airbar again because um, he's 114 now. Um, I, I presume that, a, that the death of a revered leader is uh, somewhat unfortunate. Oh, is um, uh, building no explore? As in, I'm. The in, I like the, the influence. The blows up. Pretty much I like the point, influence right? that guy, guy gives me. That's why I elected him. You know? Oh my god, they have. Boot power equivalent, naval capacity hmm. equivalent. Okay, interesting. Thank uh, you. Airbar will do it again, it's fine. Cat! Jung, hmm. Alter! Ja, runter! Arschloch. Sorry about the German is there. It's a cat, in. it doesn't speak German, you just think it speaks German. <laughs> See? I fucking hate it. You are turning into Northern Lion one episode at <laughs> time. It began with the cats. <laughs> yeah. How many of them do you have? Two. You see what I'm talking about? You see no, I, 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 actually, I actually don't. Um. He has two cats and they interrupt him in his videos all the time. Uh, so. Susie? Yeah? Oh. Uh, their names are Tomo and Momo, I believe. <laughs> and it's That's an Yisha inside and... joke that nobody's going to understand, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Tomo and I mean, Momo? One person out of all my viewers, but fine. Dearth. I, I nearly I, I uh, said yes. Dearth. And, yes! Yeah. Be Dearth. Powerful Dearthian. pop factions. Evandarian Repatriarchs. I say uh -huh. Perch, 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 Perch. Where are they? Here. One hundred percent corruption. Oh oh. You are one hundred percent corrupt. Yes, sounds about right. Um, uh, can I actually resettle people? Is a is a, is a good question. Um, what no, I will so I, what I will do okay. is get psi armies here. Ooh. Yes, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The accent. I, 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 what you were saying? What? You were saying you're going to get my armies? Yes. Um, Dodo ones. Them yet. Obviously. Defense army, nope. It's a year for each. It's kind of disturbing. Yeah, they will um, spawn the super defensive dudes here, it says. No, no, nope. Yo, we'll be brought to justice. Like, we kill you first and God will judge you, you know, the usual things. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the box is too small. You don't fit in. Stop complaining. Yes, I have pictures of this. I will. I will link the picture. I will. Ask, I will write that down. I will link the picture under my video. Where my fat cat, the bigger one, sits in a tiny box, looking up at my at me and like, "You dick! You bought a so small box for me." And like, I didn't bought it for you. I'm pretty sure the cats don't understand the concept of buying stuff. 
Ja, yeah, now, he, but I understand the human brought things. <laughs> Not bought, but oh. brought, you know? He, I, I oh, came yes, into yes. the world through the door from the outside. I put uh, the thing. Then again, I mean, understand that their brain is the size of a peanut, so... Um, not actually much bigger. Uh, my peanut. <laughs> Mighty peanut! Peanut, uh, you, uh, you think about a bird, basically, say. or a dinosaur. A cat's brain is not that small, it's like a bit bigger than a walnut. It's another fucking dodo. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I found another fucking dodo. <laughs> oh, let's check out the species window. Uh, you, 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 you set this up. You set. I am blaming you. You set this up. You set up four dodos on this map. <laughs> I did the nothing of that sort. The Namarian nations. Maybe it's a dodo Namarians. Yeah, I know them. I know I, them. I, they're, they're, they're dodos. I know them. Why are they dodos? They're not dodos. They have only fifteen pops. Where are they? Tell them to stop being dodos. Where are these people? Uh, like, between the Gok State and the Bacturian Commonwealth. A tiny nation, just one planet. <laughs> the Gnok Poradian? What are these guys? I don't see them yet, but I have the info about them. Huh. Ah! <laughs> the Antichratic Republic! Brethren, I greet you! <laughs> God. <laughs> They're going to seek unification. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you, from this little tiny planet, fly across the galaxy with your tiny little wings? All oh, right, you can't fly. Get in your tiny little metal boxes and float across the galaxy and land on the day. You know what the worst that? is? They have the same uh, starting planet as I do at Tropica. They are fucking dodos. <laughs> Well, they are, I know, they are. You, you managed, a flock of those birds managed to get lost, make their way through my territory for some reason, then through the Gox territory and land over there. That's Unspotted. The stealth mode, stealth dodos. God, I'm terrified. Our Help. Bucky is dead. Well, Vara it is then. Independence support. System that lets me not support independence of Gnorok of the Republic, I say. <sighs> Dodos, wherever you look, and I did not set that up. I set another thing up you don't know about, but that's. <clears throat> you kidding me? Not about, I did not set up the dodos, I swear. But <laughs> no, I, I, I believe you. But what did you set up that I don't know of? And should I be worried? No, I don't think at this at this point not anymore. They won't Is be it a, a country. Problem. Yes. I mean a country. Yeah. I have a problem with with the semantics of this game. Do I call it a country? Do I call it an empire? Not all empires are. Empires? Empires in this? Do I call nation. it a nation? It, you know, it doesn't have to be a nation. What is it? A um, thing. it's a faction. An, a faction no, like. it's not a faction. It's uh, it's, an it's, it's an it's an empire. No, it's thing, it's here. it's an empire because in the um, if you click on F three, it's the empire screen. We have all the empires in there, so it's an empire. Yes, but if you are a republic, then you're not an empire. And uh, that's not right? true. Yes. Mm, no. An empire is defined by the fact that it's ruled by an emperor, and if you're ruled by a president, then you are a presidency or a democracy or a you know republic actually, but yes, a republic. Yes. Hmm. Paradox fix this. <laughs> is the th that, that's the thing. There isn't a you, one name for all of these uh, different. Yeah, because they're overlapping basically. Colors on the map basically. Do you know why that is? Because we are not in space and have the a uh, proper nomenclature about this. I blame Obama. Yeah, sure, because okay. we're not in space, Obama's fault. It's, it is. It's sa He said, Obama said, and I say, he, sa he really said, Obama said, Buzz Aldrin, you are not going back into space. <laughs> and Buzz Aldrin was like, okay, boss. <sighs> Commander Chief. Brother. I am about to have another election, and Melanie Hicks is going to win again. And it's going to be glorious. But again, I can support the mushrooms for some reason. Do it. No. Why not? He's a separatist sympath. Uh, sympa uh, sympa Try mm -hmm. again. Sympathizer. <laughs> no. Can I have him killed? 
I want more warships. Idiot. What? Never getting re-elected. I mean re-elected. He's never getting elected. He's an idiot. I hate him. Build more destroyed terror class. I'm gonna support Melanie Higgs on this because I don't want any chance of him getting elected. Excellent. Melanie Higgs has been elected as the first speaker. Yeah, look at my face again. He's back. He's back. Crack. Ah. <laughs> <coughs> Do you remember this guy? This is the first ruler I ever had, by the way. <laughs> it's still the same. No, it's, just, it's the first or the second one. I can't remember. Ali makes people. Oh God, he did it again. <laughs> Every time you fail, um, every time you fail silent, you pull off shit like this. It's like my cats. And if they it begins once again, the never-ending rivalry. Of the rival Try again. Rivalry of the two never ends. I have a bunch of minerals. And Who is this? A Gnopokrian sh Schnubbelbubs or whatever? The Schnubbelbubs. I like that name. Keep it. I cannot trace the access. They are under the Gnoxpox -pox or whatever. Gnoxpox. Box. Box. They are space box. Gox. That's what they are. They will not give me wormhole station access. You, sir, are dick. I don't like these guys. But uh, the several mighty warships that we have here, renamed after various things, are getting upgraded to far mightier vessels. And uh, I'm quite excited about that. I still have 24 corvettes. I've, remarkably enough, taken good care of them. They're all going to blow up eventually, but, you know, for the time being... I could actually build some more, the more uh, warships. I have 261 capacity nice. max. So now that we have a, a, a trade thingy, would you? Uh, Obama consortium, no, Opa, Ob sorry. I kind of want to declare war on the Victorian Commonwealth. Because they have three planets. And have you any oh, idea? Have no. Oh, Melanie have has died. Have you an idea how big the Bacurian, Bacturian Commonwealth is? Which is exactly why I have a, why I want to have a war with them. The Gulki, Gulk Furki sovereign states have not annexed. Excuse me. Gulk minus Furki sovereign states are starting to annex Opa Consortium. This is my neighbors here. Uh, what did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> the Gesundheit. Uh, yeah. They're at war with the uh, Elanid, okay? Yeah, they are. They just. Look, they're settling all, all these places like crazy for one. Uh, two, I can see one of their fleets there. They have 7,000 military power. I can go ahead and kill them immediately. Yeah, we're. I have like three planets up here. The three planets up here, I really, really, really want. Because one, it makes the borders look hideous, and two, they they rightfully belong this, to me. This what you have there is realistic borders right now. Uh, no, it is not so. Uh, look at these three planets; they're, they're completely stupid. What you want with Bokoli? That's not, wasn't that a nation want, at some I point? I want uh, Bak Bakotri, uh, Shashama, and Akulum. Also known as, I'm going to rename all of this, the, this entire sector, uh, in the next episode. Who was elected? Ah! Hello, we have a new first speaker. And her name is Bettina Brown. Good German name. Bettina. Yes. Fine, I'll go with it. Colony ship... Build speed and colony development speed, that's useless, and energy. Yeah. And brown means brown, by the way. Yes, brown She's means German. brown. She's German! Uh, that's Christ for an insult. Oh, oh. Excuse me? 
We consider the system's alliance to be one of the greatest accidents of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Lovely. Research. Um. Hmm. Let's go for this. I guess ultimately what I'm asking is, would you willing to send a navy purely for defensive purposes to something like, uh... Well, the, the, basically the... Oh, you can't see my sectors, can't you? No. <laughs> no. Uh, basically, <coughs> uh, at the border with the Gok State. Yes. And just keep an eye on, you know, something coming up from the, from down there. Uh, yeah, direction. before you declare war, I have to get no, my science No, I'm not going to declare war on this episode. It's going to happen, okay. like, eventually, but not yet. Yeah, I can do that. Because I have a science step up there somewhere. Okay. I still trying to get wormhole access with these guys to go around. Um, actually, there's a... Okay, so I'm embarrassed, but I just researched something and I don't know what. Yeah, it's happened the same to me, like, actually two minutes ago. Oh, I think it's... I think it's uh, oh, mine, I agree. How nice! Yes, yes, it is. Oh, I love this tech. Hostile environment adaptation, plus five habitability. It's so good. Makes people happy. Makes them productive. Happy drones are good drones. That's actually slightly terrifying. Obey the Omnisire. What? But that is actually slightly terrifying. What? <laughs> Why? What's uh, it talking about? You know, I don't worry about it. It is fine. Oh, Dude, why do you dislike me, people? Come on, like me some more. I'm a benevolent ruler. I'm a, I'm a great ruler. <laughs> You're German. I'm German. Yes, even better. <laughs> ah, they don't. <clears throat> they like slight happiness problems. Very, very subtle slight happiness problems. I have more the problem with, hmm, with these guys. Obey. Hmm. I'm assuming, assuming we go to war, they're going to send troops through that place, down through the Empire of Broccoli, basically, and into here, which I'm ready to deal with, but the one down here you should... Uh... Jesus, that's huge. Yeah. They're not actually that big. Well, yeah, they are. No, I, I sorry, I was talking about the ethics divergence I have. Um, The guys, mm, yeah, I, I conquered. I conquered have minus 15. They are managed by a sector, plus 10. Distance from capital plus eight and a half, and base fifteen, and they are at minus fifteen. Check. I, I don't even. I don't need to change my government type. I think not yet. Hmm. Excuse me. Um. Hello. Hello. What's up? Why are we not? Uh, se sector people is what you're called now. Sector people, why are we not building anything on that planet? I know why mine are not building anything. You have and it. Why? Maybe it's the same problem. Hmm. They're built, they're built, they're built, and they can't build because they have no That's minerals. No, I just gave them, like, they have like 400, 500 minerals, they should be able to. Yeah. Okay, the Valhallen Threshold just dumped all their minerals into something, which I'm very, very happy about. Uh, that's, that's good. That means stuff is being done. Uh, what Thank planet, you for that. T tell me, what, what sector, what planet is not building anything? Okay, so Drisk. Where, the system. The system of Drisk and then Drisk Prime. Where's Drisk? Uh, they just started building something, but they weren't building when I clicked on it, so... And yeah. it's Drisk Prime. Yes, ah, they yeah, are building this... something now, like I said. They, they started building a food thing. But uh, they had 500 minerals and they weren't building no. anything here. Yeah, Which you know why weird. they're not building anything? Because they need 500 why? minerals to upgrade that building. Otherwise, they can only build the basic stuff and that's shit. <laughs> he wanted to upgrade the yeah, but, ship shelter oh, to okay, then build the real uh, buildings instead of the okay, basic fair stuff. Enough, fair enough, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, and, th and this is an... It's not you I'm annoyed about. It's basically this whole group, the Solaris group on Facebook. It's like, hey, sectors are not building anything. It's, look for the reasons. Uh, they are, they are. No, tr <laughs> yeah, the thing. I might be, 
I'm, it is why I'm doing it. I'm trying to catch them not building anything and basically slacking off, right? Yeah, you because can't. they used to do that a lot. Yeah, and they, do, they, they used to. They when don't... the game was initially released, the sectors would mismanage yes, everything. That's, that's true. Since 1.2, I believe, the sectors just work, mm. surprisingly. They're really good. On the other and hand... If you play the game when it initially was released, and you play it now, you'll see that the sectors are actually spending minerals, which is <coughs> insane did... to some of us. Because I had a... I used to have really big sectors back in you know, mm. when I had my like, first playthrough. I do have this, and if you click on uh, on your things, you have this. Um, you have your sectors, and you have uh, basically colonies, um, sector colony size, basically the tiles and the population. I had mine around 150 size, all the time. I did the, not even look at that. I was just see, playing. Yeah, <laughs> I that didn't have the problem. I had like uh, ten sectors. Uh, I, had, 150. I had pretty big sectors. One, one of which was the Gothic sector. I think that was one of my biggest sectors, and had its own battle fleet and everything. And uh, it would accumulate like thirty thousand minerals, and I would go and click on their planets and stuff. And they weren't building uh, buildings on the planet. They weren't building um, what's it called? Bluff. Oh god, my my brain's broken. Spaceports. Yeah. They weren't building spaceports, yeah, they weren't building it, it upgrades, was a problem they weren't doing anything. Because... Sometimes. Sometimes they would they would suddenly dump like <coughs> five thousand minerals into something. And one point zero the sectors wouldn't build um spaceports at all. At least in my case. Oh. Uh yeah, I think that I think that was the case for me as well. I had to build it all manually and upgrade them. Yep. Battleship Which assembly so, yards. So you know, since then, don't get me wrong. This is uh, you know ten times better, maybe even more. But uh, trying to trying to see if it, if it's you know how it works. Trying to, trying to trying to get into the mindset of the AI and see what it prioritizes and how. Yeah, that's um, makes your gameplay better actually. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm looking off, at this guy. I might come off as sorry. I, I might come off as, as cynical or whatever and saying, oh, they're not doing anything. It's not they're not doing anything look at them fix this it's they're not doing anything let's see why they're not doing anything and what they're trying to do more, more uh, i had that. the same thing like uh, i was looking at this one one sector i have this oxamon prime it's only one planet and it's not building anything i i thought but no they are doing stuff again and they have minerals and they're happy and they do yeah, everything building, actually these guys have just started constructing a well maybe not just started but they they're constructing a spaceport Unless I started building it for them, but I don't think I did. And uh, this one I did, but the one up, up there. If I you have a newly settled colony, it um, very often happens to me at least that they wait for the thresholds. It's like five population. Now you can upgrade your ship shelter, and ten population. We can upgrade again. That they wait for that. Mm. They seem to prioritize that quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Because it's actually huge. The bonus they get for that. You can, um, mm. it gives you one, this is, um, adjacent bonus thing. It gives plus yeah. one for each uh, tile around. Like each and level, that's yeah. basically better than just building a building somewhere else. It's weighted, yeah. you know, it's like, it says, oh, I'm in focus for minerals and I have these minerals here. And then, yeah, they weight that and sometimes it's just not logical. And of course you can not do such a thing like perfectly, right? We can agree on that, yeah. I guess. Well, I'm glad that they just dumped all their minerals as we started <laughs> criticizing them. Um, really, like, they have, like, several thousand minerals, and now they have, like, a hundred, all of them. And then so, the thing is, the best thing is, um, people, people, no, no, again, in the, in the group, um, or on Reddit, or wherever you um, read stuff Yo, about Solaris. Yeah, hold on, can I, can I interrupt you for a second? Yeah. I know what this is. Hmm? The game can understand me. As soon as I started criticizing, get improved. You know why? Because I re researched sentient AI. <laughs> I'm fucked, dude. The game can understand me. We're screwed. I'm done. <laughs> <coughs> okay, back to my point, um, which is basically yeah. this. Um, um, on Reddit or in the Star Scoop or wherever you read it, people are complaining about, ah, is, um, Paradox did not deliver, ah, it's bad, ah, it's okay game, ah, but... And then say, yeah, but what do you prefer? And they'll tell you, like, um, yeah, here, um, Master of Ryan 2. And like in Master of Run 2, you have to micromanage everything. Yep. <laughs> what are you even talking about? It's just nostalgia talking, trust me. Yeah. Master of Run is a you, shit game. You remember now. a game that you think was incredible. It you was incredible. Today, you realize it was. It, it was incredible 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's actually not that good, you know? <laughs> it's, 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 it was pretty fantastic. 
bad. <laughs> If the time goes no, on, wrong. it's it's not the the, the you know uh, games that uh, have been developed years ago. Uh, do, you know, in spite of technological advancements, aren't still good today. I mean, you take a look at Quake, for example, or the original yep. Doom. Those games are still amazing. You know, just, yes, we have better graphics, we have better you know mechanics, we have better everything. But those games are still amazing. Even if you play Quake One today, I think I made a video about this a couple of months ago. Uh, you, you play stuff like Quake today, and people still play Quake today, Quake One or Two, especially Two, I think. It's still an amazing game despite all the technological advancements, but, you know, for some games, it's just that they're really not that good. It's just nostalgia. Just it, think about it. As I said, it was good <laughs> 10, yeah, 15, 20 years ago. Yep. That's a pretty long time. <laughs> and demolish this as well. We've, we've, come a, we've come a long way since then, and most importantly, we've come a lot of DLC. You know, a lot of DLC uh, <laughs> way. <laughs> There's been plenty of DLCs released from you know over the last 15 years ago to make the game better. <laughs> yeah, look at uh, Europa Universalis 4. Uh, you yeah, it was a five. good game, but the DLCs of the last um forever. It basically. was a good game. They released like 500, no, not 500, like 50. Man, I'm, I'm over exaggerating. Like 10 DLCs for it, like big DLC packs. They made it great. And then they released two DLC packs, which just ruined the game, basically. I like the new forts, but I have not even touched um, Mount I like the yet. new forts. That was the last good implementation. <laughs> I haven't Since really then, they paid attention it. after they that. They literally killed the game. It's Here's the thing. You used to be able to do certain things, right? And it was okay. It wasn't realistic, but you used to be able to do things. Now it's a lot more waiting around. They made it boring, basically. Meh. Nah. Is there, there's not, it's not up to skill anymore. It used to be, you need, used, it used to be a skill thing, but again, we're, we're talking about the U4 here, but yeah. Just a, just a little bit on the, until we sort ourselves out and, and, and can declare war. But you used to be able to do stuff. You used to be able to attack a lot of people and declare wars and grab territory. And yes, you would pay a lot of stuff to keep that territory. Like, you would pay essentially tech. You know, you pay, instead of investing in tech, you would invest in that. Which is fair enough, but now they just made it a pain to expand. Instead, you're supposed to sit and upgrade your country economically and win. Yeah, I'm the... sorry, but I didn't come to EU4 to click upgrade buttons for like Everything. 300 years of in-game time. That's... Yep, yeah, pretty much. No, no, sorry, no. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can uh, expand and attack people, but it's just too much of a hassle now. It's just, it's dull and it's, yeah, too much of a hassle. Core sector... Systems plus ten. Okay, that's not that. Bad. Plus ten. Yes, ironic democracy. Oh god. Oh no, protectorate. I think it was. Because I'm peaceful. Ironic protectorate plus ten in core systems. Oh wow. Uh, it's an advanced form of the pacifistic oligarchy. Where a safety committee oversees the administration of the state. Violent tendencies among citizens are curbed in an early age uh, stage. Hmm. Well, as soon as this fleet is upgraded, and it won't be in a matter of uh, a couple of minutes, I will be prepared to go to war with... Uh... Are, you? are you now? Then I have to make my fleet ready. My science ship yes. is on the way. Bring the... Pre prepare the war herds. I mean, the, 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 the fleets. Yes. Bring the, the fleet. attitude adjuster. <laughs> Here's the thing. If I were doing this alone, I would split the fleet in two and send... Uh, well, yeah, just split them in two and, and deal with problems as they arise. But I'm thinking since you're basically going to take half of the... Um, like the second front, basically, if you will. And I'm going to take the first one up here. I don't have to split my fleet. We can just keep the, keep like two big fleets and, and deal with whatever they send because they're going to split that split their fleet. I'm pretty pretty sure. They're going to send some ships to defend the colonies up here and possibly some to attack through the uh, the border down there. So, Research complete. what have you done now? I'm oh, just building four more stations all over your place. Look me in the face. Look me in the face and tell me you you did not get like a cloud cannon. lightning. I mean, I building Wormel Station. Oh my god! For moving shit. He's building the Death Star. That's <laughs> I have a Death Star. You have no idea. <laughs> He's building the Death Star. I have carriers. I don't need a Death Star. 
Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. You always needed that song. And I renamed I, a lot of planets and you haven't even seen it yet, which makes me basically pretty happy. <laughs> you need the Citadel from, from Mass Effect, that's what you need. No, you need a I need Citadel oh, the Station you know what? from you what? You know what, a Reaper, that's what I need. Like the human Reaper from, from that thing, like the biggest possible thing known to man. Bigger than, than a battleship. My pe <clears throat> What? That's what I need. No, never mind, go ahead. <laughs> you wanted to keep this clean, right? Uh, what do you mean keep this clean? <laughs> PG-13 or something. <laughs> it just bit me on the thumb because of reasons. Anyway, we have to take a break. And I'm losing money. It's fantastic. Mate, mate, this has gone beyond Peggy 13 about 17 episodes ago. <laughs> hmm. Is that my fault? <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video. It helps the channel out. And uh, check out the other person's perspective. Link will be down in the description below. And uh, until next time, take care and bye-bye.